Hey guys, so Apple has officially released today iOS 17.5 RC, which of course stands for Release Candidate, which means iOS 17.5 will most likely become available to the general public in just a couple of days. Now in this video, I wanna go over some of the last minute changes that Apple has added to iOS 17.5. Now today was Apple's Let Loose iPad event, of course, where they announced a brand new iPad Pro, two different sizes, M4 chip, and a lot more, alongside a new iPad Air as well, two different sizes for that as well, and a brand new Apple Pencil Pro. If you want to learn everything that Apple announced today, I'll link their keynote in the description down below. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on iOS 17.5 RC, the release candidate, and the last minute changes that Apple has provided. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, aside from iOS 17.5 RC, Apple also released iPadOS 17.5 RC. We did not get an update for macOS today. We did get tvOS 17.5 RC. For Vision Pro, we got VisionOS 1.2 Beta 5, not the RC for Vision Pro today. And WatchOS 10.5 RC was released for the Apple Watch. So scatter updates today. Today, something a bit unusual, no Mac OS updates, and Vision Pro is still not on RC for 1.2, as you just saw. Now, there's a few changes happening here. Again, this is the RC release candidate. The download is 6.51 gigs, so basically 6.5 gigs. This means that this iPhone is overriding the entire operating system because this is basically the same update that you're going to get in just a couple of days. Now, the latest build number here, as you can see right there for 17.5, is 21F. 7.9. So we can expect perhaps a second RC. I'm not quite sure just yet, but for right now, that is the current RC available for 17.5. And as I mentioned, there's a few changes happening with this one. For those of you that haven't been watching, iOS 17.5 brings a new dynamic podcast widget for the Apple Podcast application. As you can see right there, the widget will change color according to the podcast that you're listening to and the color of the thumbnail. That's something new for those of you, again, that haven't been watching. Watching. There's also a new update for Apple News Plus. There's daily puzzles and a new gain center option available here in settings as well. So if we go into the news extension here for iOS 17.5, we now have gain center option for Apple News Plus and the new puzzles, as you can see right there. So you can share your scores and things of that nature. We also have for the EU only the ability to download apps directly from developers website, which is a welcome change for that region. And we also have a new tracking alerts system. So with iOS 17.5, you'll now be able to disable any tracking device that's tracking you, obviously. And even if it hasn't been something that Apple made themselves, like an AirTag, you can still get the notification that there's a tracking device, something that's tracking you. And you can read more and learn more on how to disable any tracking device with iOS 17.5. And this also works with Android devices as this is a partnership with Google. Now with iOS 17.5, Apple also added a new repair state mode. So with the new iOS 17.4 just a few months ago, Apple added the stolen device protection. So if you don't want to disable that feature when you send your device in for repair, you can now go into the Find My Network here and click on Remove Device and you'll get prompted to enter your device into a repair state. That way it is still secure while your device is being repaired. Okay, so now let's talk about what's new with the latest iOS 17.5 RC. There's some last minute changes, as I mentioned. Now with the release of the brand new iPad Pro and iPad Air today, Apple obviously launched new wallpapers for those devices, and this is one of those wallpapers for the iPad Pro. I'll link the entire collection for iPad Pro and iPad Air in the description down below. But in iOS today, 17.5, Apple added a new Pride collection, this one right here. Take a look at this wallpaper. It has this really cool animation. Take a look at that. That is really cool. Apple always has these really cool animations for their wallpapers. There's various colors and various options you can choose from here, so let's click on the plus icon here. And take a look at the latest collection. There it is. As you can see right there, we have one, two, three, four, five different colors, and they all have this really cool animation. So if we add this wallpaper to the list right here, you see that we get that really cool animation with the wallpaper. So those are going to be some of the latest changes happening here with iOS 17.5. 
RC with this latest release. Now, this one, as I mentioned, will become available, 17.5 will become available for the general public in the next couple of days. I would say in less than a week or in about a week from today, I'm thinking on the 13th at the latest. So next week on the 13th, if Apple releases another second RC, it will most likely happen this Friday the 10th, but I don't think it's going to happen. We'll have to wait and see. I'm about 50-50 on that one, but the official release should happen next Monday the 13th. Unless there's any delay, I don't see this going any further in terms of betas and RC releases. There you guys have it. Just sharing the last minute changes with iOS 17.5. Again, all the wallpapers will be linked down below. Thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.